What is the purpose of life? Have you ever got up in the morning and asked yourself, what's the purpose of life? Is life about making more money? Is life about pursuing the American dream? Is life about living nice, comfortably, and having a good time? Having the mo collecting the most toys and then dying? My friends, a man's life does not consist in the abundance of his possessions. The Bible says, you shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. Do you know the truth today? The truth that God became a man in the person of Jesus Christ. The truth, my friends, one day we're all going to die and go back to the dust. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter what your stock portfolio is. It doesn't matter how much Bitcoin you've got. It doesn't matter how wealthy you are. Don't be afraid, friends. We don't bite. We don't bite. Look to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, my friends, the Bible says, if you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. I'll turn it down, my friends. Believe on the Lord. I don't even need this right now. Do you know Jesus Christ today? The Bible says there is no other name given under heaven. Look to Jesus Christ. Oh, please don't die in your sin. Don't lose your soul, dear sir. What does it profit a man if he gain the whole world and lose his soul? It doesn't matter how much money you have. It doesn't matter how rich you are, how nice your ride is, how nice your clothes are, how nice your phone is. Everyone dies and goes back to the dirt the same. The rich and the poor die the same. God bless you, friends. God bless you. You may say, I'm a Christian. You may flatter yourself. Oh, I'm a God-fearing person. But your life is a lie. You live a double life. You live as a hypocrite. You look at pornography. You lie and you steal and you cheat. And you think that when you die, that you will enter into God's holy presence. Do you know what the word holy means? God does not tolerate sin. The Bible says that sin is abominable. Do you know what that word means? Sin is hateful. Hateful to God. I don't want you to die today in your sin. Everyone dies. Everyone goes back to the dust from which we were made. God bless you, sir. Ma'am, do you know the truth today? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Now you say, I'm a good old boy. people on the day of judgment they will say lord lord did we not do many wonderful works in your name did we not prophesy in your name did we not cast out devils in your name and he will say to them depart from me ye workers of iniquity i never knew you my friends you may think yourself a christian but my friends, hell itself will be filled with many people who thought they were Christians. Hell itself will be filled with many religious people like the Pharisees of old who knew the scriptures, who were the most well-versed well -versed in the Bible. Oh my friends, please be warned. Hell is a place of eternal fire, of inescapable judgment. You must be born again if you would enter the kingdom of God. Jesus says, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. And you may say, we don't need the gospel down here. We're in the south. We're in the Bible Belt. My friends, the Bible Belt needs to be belted with the Bible. Wake up, my friends. This land is full with hypocrites. The love of money is the root of all evil. The American dream is just a dream. The American dream is a delusion. Wake up, my friends. The American
American dream is a delusion. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. My friends, you cannot serve God and money. For either you'll hate the one and love the other and cling to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve two masters. You cannot live for money and live for God. It's a hypocrisy. It's a lie. It's a deception, my friends. You must be born again if you would enter the kingdom of God. You must be born from heaven. What does it mean to be born again? Well, consider a child that is newly born. A child that is born is given a heart, is given a brain. We must be born again. We must be given a new heart, a new mind, a heart that loves God and doesn't seek money as its primary focus. The love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. The American dream, by definition, is not reality. It's a dream. It's a delusion, my friends. It doesn't matter how much money you have. He who dies with the most toys still dies. Life is not about the accumulation of possessions. Be not deceived, my friends. A man's life does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. The goal of life is not to accumulate wealth and possessions, but rather to do the will of God, to believe on Jesus Christ whom he has sent. My friends, we are to fear God and tremble at his word for the fear of God. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. If you are wise today, you'll love God. You'll hunger and thirst for righteousness. My friends, I care about your soul enough to warn you because love, oh, love doesn't feel politically correct, my friends. The truth hurts, but lies kill. Let's move this way, sir. God bless you, my friends. The truth hurts, but lies kill. The truth is painful, but lies are fatal. God bless you, sir. God bless you. Oh, my friends, we have good news today. We have a message of hope, a message of glory and peace. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You shall be saved. Now, you may say, oh, I'm a Christian. I attend church. My friends, hell will be filled with people who went to church every Sunday. Hell will be filled with people who thought they were Christians. You must be born again. My friends, you can't, you can miss your bus in life. You can miss the bus, but when you die, you can't miss that appointment. You can miss your appointments, you can be late for a job interview, but when you die, when God dispatches his angels to collect your soul, to gather you to the judgment bar, there's no escaping death, my friends. Every person must die and stand before God for judgment. Look to Jesus Christ. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. My friends, do you love Jesus Christ, sir? Do you love God? Do you love Christ? Or do you love sin? Do you love pornography? Do you love lies? Do you love money? The American dream, by definition, is a dream. It's a delusion. It's not reality. Wake up, my friends. The rich and the poor die the same. The rich and the poor go back to the dust the same. Look to Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. God bless you, sir. Don't lose your soul. Don't die and go to a devil's hell. Oh, my friends, don't lose your soul. Don't die in your sin at war with God. Make peace with God while he has, while he has given you life. The Bible says it is appointed unto men once to die and then judgment. Every one of us will die. Whether we get hit by a bus or we get shot or we die of cancer or we die in a good old age in our bed surrounded by our grandchildren. Death is a universal reality. Death. And I know that you don't like to think about death. I know that it's something that we consciously attempt to block from our thought process, our stream of consciousness. But guess what, my friends? The wise man thinks much about the brevity of life. The wise man considers well the brevity of his own existence, the blip of insignificance that is his life. Oh, my friends, give glory to God by believing on Jesus Christ. For there is no other name given under heaven among men whereby you must be saved. You must be saved today. Why? Because you've sinned against God. Oh, but you say, I'm a good old boy. I'm a Christian. I go to church every Sunday. Hell will be filled with people who went to church every Sunday. Hell will be filled. That's it, man. It's not that loud. It's not that loud. My friends, 
See, the, the scripture says, all who are of the truth, hear my voice. Oh, you are to fear before God. If you refuse him who speaks, who shook the earth, how will you stand before him who shakes not only the earth and the heavens when the Lord Jesus rides in glory, when the Lord Jesus comes and splits the sky and he comes in flaming fire to take vengeance on those who do not know God or obey the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. What does the word gospel mean? The word gospel means good news, friends. We are in desperate need of good news. The world is full of news of scandal, news of corruption, news of terror, of war. We are in desperate need of good news. Sir, you don't like to hear the gospel? You don't like to hear good news? Oh, my friends, many of you deceive yourselves. You think you're Christian, but your life is no different than an atheist. Your life is no different than a devil. Your life is, many of you, sadly, self-indulgent, decadent. Many of you today, you live in complete hedonism. And you think that you're one of God's children, but yet you view pornography. Yet you lie and you steal and you commit sin. You sin against your wife. You break covenant of, of marriage with your spouse. You think that you're going to heaven. Oh, be not deceived, my friends. God is not mocked. What a man sows, he must reap. If you plant corn seed, you will not bear forth an apple tree. If you live a life of sin, if you live a life of decadence, self-indulgence, hedonism, if you live a life of selfishness and narcissism, when you die, you will drop into the lowest hell. Oh, please, don't lose your soul. Dear sir, dear sir, I appeal to you. I humbly, I humbly appeal to you to hear and fear the word of God for the word of God gives faith, my friends. If it's mixed with faith, my friend, the Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of Christ. My friends, wisdom lifts up her voice at the street corner, at the head of the marketplaces. Wisdom cries aloud. If you hear his voice, do not harden your heart. Do not refuse him who speaks. Do not shake your fist against heaven, but humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, and he will lift you up. Be careful, young person. Death comes to everyone. You could be hit by a bus. You could be shot. You could die of cancer. Every one of us dies. Maybe you're healthy. Maybe you think that you're strong, but death comes to everyone. Death is a universal reality. Why? For the wages of sin is death. Death, death defines humanity. Oh, my friends, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. The Lord Jesus told Martha, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. For the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, please, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts. For he says, come unto me, all you who are weary and heavy laden. I'll give you rest. God bless you, friends. God bless you. Do you know Jesus Christ today? We've got a free gift for you. And we've got something for you to read. We're all going to die one day, my friends. Watch your step. Watch your step. Death is a universal reality. Now, the Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. But you say, oh, but you're not loving. You're preaching angry. You're preaching hatefully. You're preaching angrily. Oh, my dear friends. Children don't like green vegetables. Little children don't like good food. Have the maturity to know when someone bears testimony to truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus Christ is the only way. But you say, oh, preacher, I'm a Christian. You say, oh, preacher, I'm a good old boy. I'm a God-fearing person. My friends, you may go to church on Sunday, but God knows about your pornography. God knows about your double life. God knows about your hypocrisy. Oh, please, my dear friends, hear the word of God. Open rebuke is better than secret love. Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. The truth hurts, but lies kill. Lies kill, my friend. Believe on Jesus Christ, ma'am. There is a God in heaven. There is a God who who creates the sun, who created the sun and the moon and the stars. See, that's an EMT vehicle right there. That's an emergency medical technician. Up, can up, hey? 
नमस्ते भगवान बहुत बड़े शुक्र है हम सब पाप है हम सब पाप है ईसा मसीह को मनाओ ईसा मसीह को मनाओ फॉर आवर पंजाबी सिख फ्रेंड ओवर हियर दैट्स अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ हिंदी माय फ्रेंड्स बिलीव ऑन द लॉर्ड जीसस क्राइस्ट भगवान बहुत बड़े शुक्र है बिलीव ऑन गॉड फॉर गॉड इज होली Now you say I don't need God. I've got the American dollar. I'm an American. I have a big bank account. I have Bitcoin. I have a nice stock portfolio. I I've got a nice car. I've got a nice 401k plan. I've got a good life insurance policy. When you die, when you die if you do not know Jesus Christ, the demons will drag your soul to hell. by the chains of your sinful deeds by the wickedness that you've indulged in do you love god today sir ma'am dear friend do you love god do you fear god your life is a gift from god god gives you your breath every day god gives you everything you have your mother your father your food watch you can't run from god's truth sister Watch your step. Life is short, my friends. Do not refuse him who speaks. Do not refuse the word of God. For man does not live by bread only, but by every word of God. Now there's a big church out here in, in downtown, right? Joel Osteen. You know Joel Osteen Lakewood Church? He preaches a false gospel. Beware of false prophets who come to you in sheep's clothing. But inwardly Joel Osteen is a ravenous wolf. He's a multimillionaire. Watch out for false teachers who come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they're ravenous, hungry, greedy wolves. All right, we can hit up the train station, bro. We'll keep moving this way. Hallelujah, testing. Praise God. What's that, brother? First month for this year. My friends, do you know Jesus Christ today? The Bible says there is only one name given under heaven among men, whereby you must be saved. Only the name of Jesus Christ has salvation. Oh, look to Him. Don't trust in your own name. Don't trust in the American dollar. Don't trust in cryptocurrency or the Bitcoin. You can't trust in, in 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 any government of man. You can't trust in any political party. But you can put your hope in Jesus Christ. He is the King of Glory. There is a just government in this world. The kingdom of our Lord Jesus Christ knows no corruption, knows no scandal. Politicians and world leaders, their lives. All of us, for all have sinned, are filled with scandal, filled with corruption. But the Lord Jesus, He was tempted in all points like we are, yet without sin. The Lord Jesus Christ did no sin. You can put your trust in Him. Now you say I'm a Christian, but have you been born again, my friends? Do you know God personally? Do you love the Bible? Do you pray? Do you read the Bible? Man does not live, sir, by bread only, but by every word of God. God bless you. God bless you, my friends. We got a crowd over here. We'll wait for the uh, crosswalk. I don't want to be a bad, te bad testimony, you know. <sighs> Believe on Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart. that God raised Jesus from the dead you shall be saved my friends do you know who today i'm a christian i go to church every easter i go to church every christmas but you live like a devil monday through saturday hell will be populated by people who thought they were christians who deceive themselves who's the greatest liar the greatest liar is not a lawyer not a politician The greatest liar is your own heart. According to the scripture, man's heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. The biggest liar is not some political po political leader, not some lawyer. The biggest liar is your own heart. My friends, the Lord Jesus said, "Except you're born again, you cannot enter the kingdom of God, young man. You must be given a new heart, a new mind." I'm not here to patronize you or to condescend you. I'm here as your friend. I'm here as your servant, and I beg you, 
Like if you were sleeping in your house and your house was on fire, your best friend would be the person who said, wake up, wake up, you'll burn to death if you don't escape the fire. Oh, my friends, be not deceived. Don't, don't be deceived. God is not mocked, sir. Whatever. I notice you got a cross on your chest, sir. Do you believe on the Lord Jesus? Oh, we don't bite, my friends. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. The Bible says if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Do you believe in your heart? Do you sincerely believe that Jesus Christ is God? we become a narcissistic culture. we become a self-indulgent, hedonistic, decadent society that is consumed only with what others think of us. Oh, my friends, when we die, it doesn't matter what your friends, what your family thought about you. All that matters is what God thinks about you. All that matters is that God is glorified by your life. Oh, dear sir, dear ma'am, your life is a gift from God. Don't challenge God. Don't foolishly shake your fist to heaven. We all die. It doesn't matter how rich you are. It doesn't matter how much Bitcoin you've got. And it doesn't matter how plump your stock portfolio is. It doesn't matter if you own one of these skyscrapers. When you die, the worms will not be partial to the poor. The worms of, of death, they don't know the difference between a poor corpse and a rich man's corpse. Wake up, my friends. Life is not about the acquisition of wealth. Life is not about the accumulation of possessions. He who dies with the most toys still dies. My friends, please look to Jesus Christ. Oh, you say I'm a Christian. Oh, the devil knows the Bible. Even the devils believe and tremble. Oh, my friends, don't deceive yourself. You can't deceive God, though you may think you have. You can't hide your sin from God. You can hide your sin from the police. You can hide your crimes from your mother, from your friends. You can hide your cheating from the authority, but God, the ultimate authority, the superior magistrate, the omnipotent sovereign king. You cannot hide your sin from God. When you die, and you will die, only, a, only an insane fool thinks that he's invincible from mortality. Death, the predator, is hunting for your soul. And the predator one day will sink his teeth into the neck of your soul. Why? Because you've sinned. And I know that sin is not a PC, not a politically correct word. But ma'am, sir, sin happens to everyone. Bhagwan Bahut Parashuddhud Hey. Hamsa Pab Hey. Namaste. Hamsa Pab Hey. Bhagwan Bahut Parashuddhud Hey. Isa Masi Komanawo. God bless you. My, my Indian friend, look to Jesus Christ. The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, and you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from the dead, you will be saved. See, we're all going to die. Maybe you get hit by a bus. Maybe you get shot. Maybe you die of cancer. Now, we don't like to think about death. We try to intoxicate ourselves with entertainment, with YouTube videos, with Netflix, with drink, with food, with fun. But when we die, my friends, there's no escaping responsibility then. There's no escaping accountability then. No one likes transparency. No one. The human nature... Human nature resists accountability for sin. We're all going to die, my friends. Death comes to every person. If you are wise, you would fear God. If you are wise, you'd consider the brevity of your own life. You would consider, well, the transience of your own life. Our life is a blip of insignificance, humanly speaking. But if you put your hope and your trust in the Lord Jesus Christ, He says you shall have eternal life. You know, ancient medieval alchemists sought for the elixir of immortality. God bless you, ma'am. They sought for the elixir of immortality. The fountain of youth the conquistadors thought they could find in Florida. Well, my friends, the Lord Jesus Christ, His blood, oh, His blood was spilled. And He was raised on the third day by the power of the Holy Spirit. The blood of Jesus Christ is the true elixir of immortality. The true fountain of youth. Oh, he died as a substitute. He died as a sacrifice for whoever puts their trust in him. Oh, the name of Jesus Christ is a refuge, a shield, a tower of defense. How are you doing? You got a question? What's the problem? Yeah, what, what about it? Yeah, I was a medic. I'm, I'm ex-military. All right, what's, what's your point? I don't care. 
God bless you. You, you have a you have a nice day. I, I was a soldier and I was willing to die for freedom of speech, son. God bless you. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, my dear friends. I don't want you to die without knowing God. See, the Bible says that we are made from dust, and unto the dust we shall return. You got some idea, bro? Brother? You got some idea? Are you threatening me? <laughs> God bless you, man. You have a nice day. My friends, I don't want you to die in your sin. You're on camera, by the way. You're on camera. I don't want you to die in your sin. The Bible says if you... It, it may be live. This may be a live video. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you shall be saved. You see all this glory? You see all these things that glitter that are not gold? All of this will be destroyed one day. When God... What's your question? Who was the Bible written for? The Bible was written for those who want to hear it. Do you want to hear God's word? I, what's your name, friend? Maurice. Nice to meet you. Who was the Bible specifically written for? The Bible was written for all men. No, it wasn't. It was written for all men. Who was the Bible written for? The Israelites. The Israel Are you black Hebrew Israel? Yes. Okay. God bless you, sir. I'm not, I, God bless you. Um, that's right. The Bible was written primarily. The Old Testament especially was written for the Israelites primarily. Primarily. But not exclusively. the New Testament written for? The New Testament was written for the church primarily. I'm the Okay. You want it? Right, right. So, Maurice. Um, I've been to Israel many times, okay, and uh, I have an intimate familiarity with, with Hebrew culture. Okay. Uh, let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Well, not, nice, nice to meet you, friend. I, I want you to know the truth, brother. I mean, uh, you're right. It's written for Israelites. But the question of the Bible is, who is the true Israel? That's the big question mark. The remnants. That's the true Israel. Right, right. And who are the, and who are, and who are the foreigners in the land? That's a good question. According to Romans chapter 2, let me show you. Yeah, you know, what you're saying, the Bible says he is a true Jew in Romans chapter 2, verses 28 and 29. Romans 2, 28, 29. It says here, Maurice, uh, no disrespect intended, my friend. No, I thought you were threatening me or something. No disrespect. For no one is a Jew who is merely one outwardly, nor a circumcision outward and physical. But a Jew is one inwardly, and circumcision is a matter of the heart, mm -hmm. by the spirit, not by the letter. His praise is not from man, from and God. And who was the book of Romans written to, sir? By Roman Christians. The Roman... And now, I, I see where you're going with this, and... Let me... I'm saying that the entire Bible is directed to different groups of people, but it's only meant for one group of people. And the redemption and salvation is meant for one group of people. I agree with that. I agree with that. I do. Okay. But the big question is, who are those people? You're looking at them. And, Sir Maurice, if you put your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ... I don't believe in Jesus. Then you're not one of the people. You're not one of the true Israel. I am one of the true Israelites because you know that Jesus is your opinion. Jesus is not... It is, it's not Gee, Jesus Gentiles. was not your opinion. Jesus, yes, it Jesus was a Jew. What, what, That's Asian, bro. What language does Jesus come from? A Aramaic Latin? was... Ar and no. where did Latin come from? Maurice, you, Maurice you've been misinformed. I'm not Aramaic. Aramaic. Ar I, I, Aramaic started where? Aramaic started in Israel in the Levant, in the Middle East. It was a dialect of Hebrew. My friend, Jesus didn't speak Latin. Jesus was not European. Jesus was not blonde haired and Jesus blue eyed. Hebrew. Jesus was Hebrew, was Middle exactly. Eastern. He, he wasn't. Who, who, we don't Do you know. know what the Middle East was? Was uh, Africa. It's a distraction. It used to be Africa. Stop that, man. Maurice. Stop that. Maurice, I, I care about you. The Middle East used to be Africa. Why do they call it the Middle East? It's not the Middle East. That's, that's the most ridiculous name well, for, uh, for a country right, that I've right. ever heard of. You're right. The Middle East. I know. You the, got Asia, you're right, Russia, you're right. China, Italy, but you got the Middle East, right? That's Africa, bro. The, I know. You're right. The world about 200 years ago was very Anglo-centric. The British said, we're the center of the world. And the Middle East, I know, it doesn't make sense. And you're right. Jesus was not European. I agree with you on that. Was Jesus African? No. I didn't say he, was he wasn't African. European either. I didn't say he and was African. Maurice, if I may, this is a distraction. Go ahead. This is a distraction, sir. No one knows the exact shade of Jesus' skin tone, but that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Let's go to the Song of Songs. Go to the first chapter of Song of Songs. Those yeah. people, those same people where, where Jesus grew up at. That's the same thing. Oh, he said you're dark yet lovely. Yeah, he told his wife no. you're dark. Yeah, no, I, I know what you're talking I'm about. I'm dark but comely. He didn't say I'm dark but ugly. He said I'm No, dark I didn't say I'm sorry. I, I'm tired. I'm yeah. tired. No, I didn't say ugly. I didn't say that. I didn't say comely. Comely is what I said. Yeah. Maurice, um, yeah, God doesn't care about skin color. God is not racist. God 
see, if we say that Israelites are only black Africans, then that's racist. Think about it. We've overcorrected. The pendulum has swung the other way. Well, I mean, I think that's a, that's the incorrect definition to call somebody as racist who don't have the authority to insert, you know, inf influential power over somebody. I, I don't have the power to influence, but you probably do because you're white. Because y'all, yeah, this is white America. I, I mean, I'm sorry for what happened in the past, Maurice. And I, I, I I'm not saying that you're responsible, but you definitely benefit from it today. But so do you, Maurice. No, I don't. I've been to many. I've been to many poor countries, and people are fighting no, tooth and nail to get a visa to the U.S. America. You live in America, in America I live Maurice. In America and I don't want to be here. But you've got a nice phone. You've got. You, you look respectable. You look decent. I've been in countries where people are in rags and they're starving, and they want to get a visa to the United States. Why did? Why well, that's that, their why that, government. Why did America goes to other countries and you destroy other countries and y'all come back Amen. over here and tell Amen. other people, "Oh yeah, this is this, this I, is a place America is not poor. Israel." I mean, take your underprivileged, but y'all don't do that. Y'all destroy these people. Doing to these that's students, true. To the that's true, bro. That has nothing to do with Christianity. Exactly. We're not a, this isn't a Christian nation. There, yeah. There's the people of God, and then there's governments. Governments are under the wrath of God and the curse of God. This, this whole world, every government, whether it's Russia, whether it's Ethiopia, whether it's America, are under the curse of God. This whole world's curse. So I agree with you 100%. Has America done all that? We were co servicemen. Yes, but we gone to with faraway places and destroyed his men. That was absolutely Christianity is, is even Paul He says uh, the, the uh, men of this, the Christians of the world don't entangle themselves with, with that type of thing. For are soldiers of Christ. Um, um, so to, to make this about anything else okay. except being born again and except Jesus Christ, what That's he fine. said. That's fine. Okay, well, when we talk about Jesus Christ, right? When you talk about the name Jesus, right? I could take. I can take that name, I can break it up into this prefix and the suffix. I know from Hebrew that Zeus is a, is a male horse. I know from Greek that ye, -E, that ye or G-E -E is, is uh, the word for... Hell, they say hell Zeus. I, I heard this argument. It's, it's, a, it's a lie. It's misinformation. It's, it's, it's really not. Jesus is simply the Greek form of Isuas, uh, which, which means God means saves. It comes from Hosea. That's no, that no, means. no, that's a deception. I've been in Israel. I've heard this argument before. They removed the vowels. In ancient Hebrew, there were no vowels. They're, they're, they're just, they're just exactly. playing with people, brother. Exactly. Maurice is just playing with people. So Jesus is, is the so name Joshua. It comes so from... Yeah, sure means Jehovah is salvation. God is salvation. That's what it means. I know. I've studied. I'm, but you, 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 I'm, you're not answering my question. What does what does Jehovah mean? First of all, Jehovah means God. Jehovah means I am that I am, the self-existent one. What God. Is a, what does the suffix of Jehovah mean? The, what does Jehovah mean? Jehovah means, Hova means uh, I am, am, am existent one. Existent. Jehovah means I am that I am, the self-existent one. I am that I am. That's what it means. It implications of covetedness, wickedness. That's what that's what Hova means. Yeah, that's in the concordance. Maurice, that's, in the, that's in the concordance. With all due respect, you've been lied to, sir. How am I being lied to by, by biblical concordance, by King James Version? What concordance? By with it, with Can it, you show it. me on your phone? I don't have it. No, I don't have it with it's me. Strong I, if, I my, if I had my book, uh, I, I usually keep it on me, I, I would definitely show you, but I don't have it on me. Well, Maurice, we got to get going, but with all due respect, sir, I, I would encourage you to, to critically think about what you've been told, the narrative that's been fed to you. You seem like a smart man. I would encourage you to question what you've been told. It's not about white versus black. It's not about Africa versus Europe versus or America. America's corrupt. I agree with you. Every country in this world is corrupt. Only the kingdom of God. It's not about white versus black, but it is about Israel and everybody else. That's true. Who's the true Israel? And it's not just a race of people, Morris. It it's more than a that. a particular race of people because God particular, specifically describes these people as Israelites, these people as being the chosen people of God, these people who were but carried the, away right, right. But the chosen slavery people are not on ships and brought back into so-called Egypt, which is America today, a.k.a. Babylon, into slavery. Who was that? I mean, that's only talking about one specific group of people. That's black people. If you want to talk about the Gentiles and the foreigners among the Israelites, that's you guys. Maurice. There is, there is, yeah. you, there, you are not Israelites, period. I, I, it, Maurice, you can be, you, you can I, be converted. I, can I can ask you, because I don't know, you, I don't know your belief. Dan knows a little bit better. I don't know. Do you believe all of Israel was saved? Is that, is that what you believe? All of Israel is, is not saved. All of Israel is still in their curse to this day. Okay. I misunderstood. Okay. Thank you. Maurice, it was great talking with you, man. We've got to get going. Uh, God bless you, sir. Amen. Preach for like a week and a half. Yeah.
Savage. <laughs>